Hello, I'm Doug and this is the Taste and Sensibility channel and we are at Black Licorice review number 30. The last one where we are going to taste and smell and assess the quality of Scotty Dog's original Black Licorice. So thank you so much for tuning in and finding this video and watching these licorice videos. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and click on that bell icon to get notified when the new videos get released on Mondays and Thursdays. Leave a comment down below. Ask questions. Interact some. Let's get to know each other. So this is going to be the last black licorice review for a while, maybe a year or two, unless some exciting news happens in the black licorice world. But this is going to be the last one for a while. Scotty Dog's black, original black licorice, which is from a U.S. company called Gimbal's. This has nothing to do with Scotland. It's just a cute marketing idea or brand. So this seems to be a pretty high quality candy company. And it says peanut free, tree nut free, dairy free, gluten free, soy free, egg free. So they don't have much in the way of ingredients in their factory. But these are, oh, excuse me, Mr. Cat, these are in the shapes of dogs. You might not like this, but we're going to open this up and dump out a few. Mmm, nice smell. Wow, these are pretty cute little Scottish Terriers. Different thicknesses, different sizes. So on the nose, I'm getting the usual rich wheat, cooked wheat, bready type aroma with some anise in there and some other sweet flavors. Spicy, like baking spices. Maybe something like a nutmeg or clove or cinnamon. But it's pretty faint and weak. So it's an interesting nose. Let's see if they use molasses. Corn syrup, sugar, food starch, caramel color, coconut oil, anise oil, licorice root extract. Nope, no licorice. So it's the cooked wheat thing that's so familiar. So I'll start in with the first piece here and bite off his little head. Mm. Okay. So the flavor is good with a good ass kick and some licorice bitterness, but the consistency and texture of the candy is such that it sticks to any open teeth surfaces that it finds. So you'll need to go through and drink a lot of water or clear it off with your fingers. So that would be unappealing for you to watch, so I won't do that here. So this is a very sticky, gummy, gooey consistency. It's not crumbly at all. It just keeps sticking to my teeth. So the taste is really good. It's a nice sweetness. It seems to be all from sugar. And the licorice notes are fairly strong, moderate, moderate too strong in intensity. And I'd say anise is out in front and licorice behind it with a little bit of bitterness at the end. Wow. Wonderful candy except for that tooth adhesive adhering texture or consistency. So if you have a friend or a small child that you want to not to talk for a while, give them a few pieces of these and they'll be so busy chewing, they won't be able to say a word for uh, more than a couple of minutes. So I would rate it fairly high on the flavor scale and uh, take some points off for the consistency. And if you're not in front of people or making a presentation in the next five minutes, then just go ahead and eat it and deal with the uh, adhesion the best you can. So I'll put a link to a website down below 
And that wraps up the black licorice series. So next we'll do fresh cheeses. So that's all for now.